My name is Bernd Groblin and uh, I come from Stuttgart in Germany and my background is uh, I've been for long years a professor of aerospace at the university and well did aircrafts and uh, dynamics of aircrafts and lots of things and mathematics and physics and so on and once a day I came across the water and this was because I looked for something uh, which could store images of radiation. So uh, I was I was looking after after a method to uh, to prove healing methods with radiation. And uh, this should be a substance which should be in the body, if possible. And then uh, <coughs> I learned. Uh, from a photographer who did marvelous pictures with water, water drops under the dark field microscope. And uh, then I tried to test whether these uh, pictures have uh, some relevance for science. And I tested whether they are repeatable and so on and so on. And, and this photographer helped me to do this. And then I took this over to the university and the first we did the re research at university and later on we do the research now outside the university because uh, I'm retired. Yeah. But since I'm retired I'm free to talk what's on my mind and what I like. Is this is a benefit of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so the seven secrets are um, <coughs> over the years uh, we uh, uh, have made this research and uh, uh, it was like the water started to tell us more and more things. Of course at the same time we, we had to use our mind and we had to, to use our consciousness and uh, also to feel what's, what's all about. So, but we didn't have the first day all these questions, all these, which we later called the secrets. And then the, the water told that they, uh, the water has, has well different images. I call this different faces. So it looks uh, at you from the microscope in a different manner, and uh, and then like like it, it is an uh, individuum or something like this. So we, we have then a very close relationship to this, and how it dries under the microscope, how the image is formed, and so on. And, uh, <coughs> and after these images, uh, we thought, uh, well, first we should something, put something in to see uh, uh, whether this is dissolved or not. And maybe uh, if this is dissolved, then this should be a chaotic picture, but it was not. It was a structured picture. So all these, these picture points seem to be put in a certain place by, by, by forces which are in the water, in the liquid water. And then the water evaporates and then the points stay in a certain, a certain spot. And this makes the pictures. And of course the points are made by the ingredients of the water, so the water is not clean. But even when we have very clean water, we still see this. And even sometimes if we have, seem to have nothing in the water, we see still pictures. So we are amazed, we, we don't know, we don't talk about. <laughs> and uh, and then, then we, we came to what I originally wanted, to electromagnetism, and we saw that also electromagnetism produces images in the water and also in the water inside us, in our body water. So in the blood, urine, and so on, you can take all this, you can take the saliva and you will see uh, that, uh, that electromagnetism makes such pictures. And then you can see how it changes the uh, structure of your body water and if the structure of your body water is changed, then the information of this body water structure is not able anymore to control your person. And, and, and this means you are not centered. You are, you are out of your, your life center. So you, you, you live beyond yourself, more or less. And you are stabilized always because your body has a, has a mechanism to stabilize you, but you are not really yourself. 
So you can dry the water, and if you are not uh, not centered, uh, then you will you will see that uh, the drop dries uh, eccentric or it dries uh, has has little strange uh, uh, s strange rim or so. So it's not uh, not 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 very well clean clear. Simple. Well, I had 30 minutes to talk, <laughs> and and uh, so uh, the idea was to give just an impression about the diversity of uh, what's possible. And so I went from the electromagnetism to the sound, because many people think, well, sound is something totally different. It is, but it also affects the water, and sound is stored in the water. So nobody believes this, but uh, but y you can see this in the picture. And uh, so this can be music, this can be ultrasound, this can be all kinds of sound. And uh, then, of course, um, what I what what I call some strange uh, transformations. <laughs> so uh, you can uh, even have your your thoughts if you have very strong and clear thoughts they might affect the water too. That's, that's nothing for normal life or for daily life, but um, if you have a healer or a strong person, and uh, then it's able to, to influence the image in the drop uh, by your thoughts. Because this, this was one of the reasons why we did it. Because uh, all uh, people, uh, all, all physicists in the world think uh, there are four forces in the world, and one force is electromagnetism, and uh, everything like this has to be electromagnetism. And for this reason, we put one probe of the water inside uh, a Faraday cage made from moon metal, and one outside. And then we influence both. Uh, by thoughts, and also the 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 probe inside the cage was changed, and this must probably mean. So I'm very careful, but must probably mean that our thoughts are not of electromagnetic nature. There seems to be something else. Otherwise, I could not communicate through the cage. Now we, we have seen in the conference there are so many people, and all are very uh, in intelligent uh, uh, physicians and physicists, and uh, well, from all kinds of fields of science. And <laughs> these people, well, are all water heads. So all they, they, they all, well, the head is filled with water on the one hand, and on the other hand, they, <laughs> they all study water and research on water. And uh, maybe what I did today, I, I raised a lot of questions. Well, I did not even raise them, but I, I just showed the pictures and they raised questions. And uh, I think there might be many people who think about and maybe have good ideas and good answers. So we are, we are mainly not the persons doing uh, hypothesis and, and and uh, doing all these very complicated research, we are the people uh, who, well, as a part of the world, got this and look at it and present it and give it to the people. And now the question is, what do the people do with it? <laughs>